Hi everyone, another short video for you to help stretch out those shoulders if you've been sitting in a chair all day or at your computer this might be a nice little uh, quick five minute break for you. So start with your feet hip distance apart and then have that sense that your sit bones are well anchored down into the uh, chair and a sense of lengthening the spine up toward the ceiling. So you've got that nice connectedness down to the earth and that nice space between each vertebra. Then from there, we'll go into some shoulder rolls. So just lifting and rolling those shoulders back. And then let's reverse it. And then next, take hold of one side of the chair, take the other arm out and then stretch it up and over. Nice big lift on this lower side rib cage and then back to the center, to the other side and to the center. Imagine breathing into that more open side, getting those ribs to expand, those lungs to inflate. One more to each side. So keeping those hips nice and anchored down. And then release it down. You can use the TheraBand on this one, but I'm choosing not to, just because I, I just want the stretch. If you want to do a little bit of strengthening work, you can hold the TheraBand in your hands. Otherwise, extend the arms forward Soften the shoulders down, but maintain that nice length through the spine. The hands are at around about chest height, not shoulder height. And then start to draw back on one elbow, but reach the other arm forward and turn toward that bent elbow. So you're getting that nice rotation into your spine and then draw it back to your start position. Let's do the other side. So reach the front arm forward, bring that back elbow behind and keep it slightly lifted, but keep the shoulders down away from the ears. You see how nice that is to get that stretch around the spine, around the shoulders. And we'll do one more to each side or we'll finish, we'll complete your sides. and then release it back to the center. Turn the palms in toward one another. Again, just think about those shoulders always. If you're feeling any stress or strain into the neck or shoulders, maybe they need to come a little bit lower. Uh, maybe you need to give them a break. Let's inhale and open the arms out to the side and then exhale to close. Inhale to open and exhale to close or breathe any way you like, as long as you're breathing. So in this one, it's nice to think of how the shoulder blades are kind of moving and how they're the ones that are opening the arms out. The shoulder blades move in towards your spine as you open your arms. And of course they stretch away from the spine as you close your arms. So you should feel your shoulders getting a little bit warm now. We'll do two more. your shoulder straight and then release it down maybe even roll your shoulders back again you might want to tilt the head side to side just to loosen off that neck a little bit and then we'll grab the TheraBand or your hand weights if you like pop it underneath your feet not your hand weights just the TheraBand and then bring your hands palms facing up and again, because the band with a little bit of tension in it is pulling you down, try and find that length into your spine. And then exhale and bring the hands to the shoulders, keeping those palms facing up toward the ceiling. 
So you might want to um, adjust the tension on the strap. To make this a little bit harder, you could also have your elbows lifted forward of your waistline and keep them there as you bend and straighten the arms. But really, we're just going for a nice warming up of the uh, biceps. Do two more. and then release it down, shake the shoulders out, and we're gonna do another set of those. So bringing hands to shoulders. I like to breathe out to bring my hands up to my shoulders as I help, I feel that like facilitates my movement. And two more. and then release it down. And then take the TheraBand and you could just wrap it around your hand once. Just enough to give it a little bit of tension. That's too much. <laughs> and then from there, um, keep those elbows in at your waistline, like you're holding two newspapers under each uh, elbow, uh, upper arm there and then open the arms out to the side and close them back to shoulder distance. And open and close. So this is working a little bit more directly into your um, rotator cuff. So before with our arm openings, we're working all those muscles between the shoulder blades and now we're working sort of the, more the outside of the shoulder blades. Check maybe um, that your wrists are nice and straight. Straight line from your knuckles through to your elbows. And we've just got two more of those to do. And release it down if you need, shake out those shoulders. And we'll do one more set of 12. So you could do an extra set if you want, or you could do less if you want. two more and release it down and that's just a nice little workout you can do sitting at your computer you can watch this video while you're <laughs> sitting at the computer and do it in time with me otherwise I hope you enjoyed and if you liked it then hit the like button and or look me up on Facebook or send me an email Thank you.